Today we're going to be talking about calves and why you think they're not growing. <laughs> now some of you seem to think... <laughs> Cut! Action. Some of you seem to think calves won't grow, but are you actually training them? I mean, think about your last chest day. You probably did 10, 15 sets minimum. You probably did what? Flat bench, incline bench, some flies, some little sideways things. It's a pretty good chest pump. And you treat your calves like you wash your hands when no one's looking. At the end of leg day, what do you do? You usually put one, maybe two sets of calves and you call it good, right? And then I, I think it's funny when you hear people saying their calves won't grow. It's just like any other muscle in your body. You have to train it just like any other muscle in your body. When you train your calves, you wanna do the same thing as you might with your chest. You wanna do three different exercises, three to five sets of each, slow and controlled the whole time, and you wanna change it up, do one and a half reps, the same thing you do with any other muscle. So today, I'm really gonna focus heavily on calves. So I started with calf raises on the machine. As you can see, full range of motion is super important, especially for calves. So if you can use a machine and use an edge like this, and really get that full range of dorsiflexion, which is up, and then plantar flexion, which is down, um, we can really work the calves a lot better than if we're just standing on the floor. That being said, I do like just standing on the floor because it allows you to do different angles more comfortably. So the next exercise I did on the Smith machine, and I just pointed my toes out a little bit just to get the calves a little different. After that, I did a sitting calf exercise with a dumbbell on each leg. Um, I also did, so I did two standing exercises and two sitting exercises. It's really important to work standing and sitting because the calf is made up of two muscles. It's the gastrocnemius and the soleus, and the soleus is actually underneath the gastroc, and it gets worked a little better as you're sitting. So you wanna make sure you throw in a combination of standing exercises and sitting exercises. Um, and then to finish it off, I did it's a little hard to tell, but I'm doing one and a half reps um, on this uh, sitting calf raise machine. So I go all the way down, I come up about half of a rep, go back down, and then come all the way up. Um, and this is just an, another, a different way to tire out the muscle, not necessarily better than anything else, but like I said, you just wanna change things up and um, do what you can to do exercises your calves are not used to. Take your calf workouts to the next level. Make sure you actually throw those in when you're done with legs, or if you do like weekday or weak spot training or any of that. Wash your hands, work your calves, keep a mask handy. Oh, that's hot. That is hot. I really hope you don't use this audio. <laughs>